Welcome to Standing Firm Tribulation Radio, broadcasting the truth in the last days, giving commentary to the latest news, encouraging the faithful remnant through God's Word to help you stand firm. This is a worldwide ministry to all of God's children, of which many are currently undergoing intense persecution while others are facing an onslaught of demonic activity, extreme weather, and catastrophic disasters. You're listening to Tribulation Radio. We will be back in less than a minute after Paula Dispro introduces our show with heavenly music in a short music video. Remember to stay tuned for later in the show when Paula sings a different song each week to the glory of God. The name of our show today is, Are You Following a Blind Guide? For the first time in world history, there is a multitude of blind guides in every segment of secular society and religious life, promising to guide you into enlightened truth. With all these guides in our world today, we're forced to ask the question, which one has eyesight to see the whole truth? To be partially blind to the truth or mixing truth with a lie, still makes you a blind guide, leading your followers into the pit of inevitable consequences of following a lie. A true word from Jesus Christ is not to let these blind guides overcome you or cause you anxiety. See Matthew 15, 14. With God's help, we can confront these lies with every source in both society and religious life as they are brought before us through listening or reading. This is possible, my dear friends, if we truly hide God's Word in our hearts and learn how to listen to the indwelling Spirit. When we do this, we will be able to expose and confront every lie. We will also be able to free those who have been taken captive to follow the lies of the enemy. Of course, If we don't do anything to confront the lies, then things will only go from bad to worse, in this country and around the world. For those who have eyes to see, we have already seen God's wrath being poured out on fallen humanity for some time now. We have seen reoccurring epidemics, and we will continue to see them get even more deadly and widespread. We have already seen great forest fires that have wiped out entire towns and with the heat index on the rise due to the consequences of man's sins, then even greater conflagrations are on the horizon, engulfing larger cities in monstrous flames of roaring fire. We have seen smaller earthquakes traumatize entire communities. It won't be long before we see larger and more devastating earthquakes paralyze great sections of our country, bringing both death and massive destruction. We could go on, but the point is clear. Until God's beloved children rise up to confront the blind guides with the whole truth, then things will only get worse. Moreover, things will get worse contrary to who's the president or whatever new laws and global agreements are passed. Have you hidden God's Word in your heart so that you can expose and confront the lies of the world? 
Let's see if that's so. Most lies from the entertainment industry are carefully knit together as subtle lies in every movie they produce. They almost never miss an opportunity to push the lie of evolution that removes God as the Creator. Evolution destroys the fact that everything was created perfect in the beginning. Genesis 1.31 Friends, man is not getting better, he's getting worse. The decline in actual intelligence and memory of historical events is beyond the pale. We can easily see the incompetence in every area of society. We're not evolving, but devolving. For some time now, the big screen has also been pushing homosexuality and sex before marriage. They have shamelessly ignored God's word that homosexuals will receive the due penalty for their error. See Romans 1.27. They have covertly removed God's law that says marriage between one man and one woman should be consecrated before sex. See 1 Corinthians 7.2. We must expose the lie coming out of Hollywood by proclaiming the truth. In public education, it's less subtle when they teach their lies. They teach that abortion is not really killing a child by removing God's foreknowledge of the child in the mother's womb as he's being formed. See Jeremiah 1.5. It's less subtle when they teach that small children can choose their own gender when it was God who made woman out of the rib of the first man, Adam, so that he could have a helpmate, so that the two shall become one flesh, fulfilling his command to be fruitful and multiply. See Genesis 2.18, 128. Our gender was uniquely designed by God to fulfill this command. How is this possible if we change our gender? We must confront the lies of public education by proclaiming the truth. Many of the lies preached from the pulpits of America are destroying the foundations of classic Christianity. One of the biggest lies is that God is the same in every world religion. How can the God of love be the same God that teaches his followers to kill people in cold blood, chop off their heads, and subject their women to excessive cruelty? On the other hand, our God of love teaches us to turn the other cheek, go the extra mile, and consider others better than ourselves. See Matthew 5.39-41 and Philippians 2.3. This lie has destroyed the exclusiveness of Christianity. Remember that Jesus Christ said emphatically, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh to the Father but by me. John 14, 6. We must expose the lies in religious life by proclaiming the truth. Another lie is that God did not give us everything we need for life and godliness, so we need their worldly counseling techniques and their pathetic drugs in an attempt to cure their increasing number of diagnosis of psychological problem. In so doing, they have destroyed the sufficiency of Scripture. That clearly says, according as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue. 2 Peter 1.3 As new creations, see 2 Corinthians 5.17, it is essential that we have all the necessary knowledge to confront every problem faced by humanity in the way of emotional and psychological problems. It's essential that we are transformed in Christ so that we have the power to confront the lies in religious life by proclaiming the truth. To do so, my friend, will deliver many from spiritual blindness and the pit of eternal damnation. To expose and confront the lies of the world, we must listen and obey. Yes, I said to obey the voice of the indwelling spirit. Let me say first, and very importantly, 
that the indwelling spirit will not contradict the Bible. He will uphold its truth by confirming it over and over again. So how do we listen to the indwelling spirit? A good place to begin is to confess your sins before a holy God and quiet yourself before Him. That is, you cannot listen to the indwelling spirit while you do all the thinking. Think not and learn to listen to the still small voice of God through the Spirit. This will be the most difficult part for most because we love to think and keep on thinking until we drown out every voice but our own. If we properly quiet ourselves before the Lord, then it's even possible to receive a short vision with its immediate interpretation. I have been listening to the indwelling Spirit for many years, and I can tell you it almost always has something to do with our work for the Lord. The indwelling spirit was not sent to be your prophetic looking glass, nor was he sent to tell you unrelated truth about your fascinations and inquiries. On the other hand, in the course of our work, we may see the prophetic and we will see and understand deeper truths beyond anything we could have imagined. Primarily, however, his job is to lead you to expose and confront the lies of the world with His truth. Won't you join Him today in this great task, or will you remain quiet as the entire world is being led astray by their blind guides? The choice is yours. Please join me in prayer. Good morning, Heavenly Father. O oh Lord, help us, your beloved children, not to be anxious or overwhelmed by the many blind guides in our day. We know that not all these blind guides claim to be followers of your Son, Jesus Christ. For these blind guides encompass every area of our society, from other world religions, to the entertainment industry, to public education, to the talking heads on cable news, and to the world's counselors. We pray that you will lead us to continue confronting their lies that are leading both them and their followers into the pit of the coming and present difficulties, to the pit of eternal damnation. Encourage all of your true children to go beyond the stark warnings of your coming wrath seen so clearly in the deadly heat waves, massive earthquakes, and recurring epidemics. We pray that we will show them their errors and how their errors are blinding them from seeing the truth. We pray that once they see the truth of our salvation in Christ and its wonderful promise of transformation, that they will lead others to this same path. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the King James Version, the Bible says, Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Matthew 15, 14. We have three beautiful music videos today, featuring three amazing vocalists to assist you in the application of the message you have just heard. Our first vocalist is our own Paula Dispro, singing in her newest music video entitled, I'm Not Insane. In Paula's own words, she says, following evolution is a blind path that leads to hell because it does not acknowledge the true creator of the world, Jesus Christ, the true divine Son of God. Now let's listen to Paula sing so amazingly to the glory of God, I am not insane. They say there is no God, there never was a fall. They tell me evolution is the answer to it all. We started out as slime a billion years ago. They really have no proof for this, they simply say it's so. They never want to hear the voice within the stillness. And anyone who disagrees, they say has mental illness. Because they do not hear, can't prove God never speaks. He tells us that he will be found by anyone who seeks. Oh Lord, I hear from you. 
you tell me what to do And I think I'd be crazy if I did not follow you For God is still alive His words are clear and plain I listen to them carefully For I am not insane Our God is still alive His words are clear and plain I listen to them carefully For I am not insane For I am not insane We will be right back after a short station break, where I will introduce all of my books, not for profit, but for continued support of our ministry. Please consider ordering one directly from my website that will benefit both you and the ministry. I would like to invite you to visit my online bookstore today for one of these incredible books. Final Warning offers evidence that the beast is already building the global city of Revelation. Stand Firm helps lay a foundation for the Christian soldier to overcome the wiles of the devil. Guiding Principles for Biblical Counseling is a very practical book for the layman and the professional. Revelation Truth is a collection of all my timeless articles written to help God's children stand firm. Our next vocalist is the very talented and gifted Lorraine Howard, singing in her new music video entitled Healer in the House. When we think of healer, we may only think of physical healing. However, Jesus Christ demonstrated that healing encompassed the physical, the emotional, the psychological, and the spiritual. Indeed, God heals the entire individual. Now let's listen to Lorraine Howard sing Healer in the house. In a packed outhouse in the town of Capernaum, people had gathered in to meet God. I knew the miracles he had done Friends carry there the crippled man For a miracle of his own Through the door there was no room for them to enter So determined the friends found another entryway That man became living proof There was a healer in that house that day There's a healer in this house this morning still real today yes he is still the same as 
when he wanted on this earth. No, my God has not changed. Have faith now and believe. Just call on Jesus' name. Through his stripes you can be healed. God did promise. As he healed the sick and he even raised the dead. His power can heal you too. And you'll become living proof. There was a healer in this house, in this house today. He fed the hungry, healed the sick, turned the water into wine, cast out demons, raised the dead, healed the deaf, lame, and blind, walked on water, come the storm. We have a lot more show, but first I want to personally invite you to listen to an important message from God for all of humanity. This is a message that I never tire of listening to. We all know that Jesus Christ came to save the sinner and give them a new life in Him. But what many of us have forgotten is the true nature of sin. Yes, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But what is sin? We will all agree to disobey any of His commandments is sin. But how many can you quote? You might say, if I love God and my fellow man, then I have fulfilled His commandments. But don't forget that He has given us over 127 commands in the New Testament alone to show us how to love God and how to love one another. On our own, we cannot obey. But with God, all things are possible. Not only has He promised to save us, but give us the ability to obey all of His commandments and trust Him alone. This is all by the grace of God, not by works lest any man should boast. This grace comes through faith, believing in Jesus Christ who is the true Son of the living God, who died, was buried, and raised on the third day, opens a door to a new life in Him. This is a life where all of our sins are forgiven and we are made into a brand new creation where old things pass away. From the very first day, we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all truth, producing every manner of spiritual fruit. This eternal life misses the sting of death and ushers us into His glorious presence. This free gift is given to those who are called into His kingdom. Dear friend, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord by placing all of your trust in Him to make you into a new creation and forgive you of all your sins, then you can do that right now in the privacy of your own home. Come to Jesus right now confessing and repenting of your sins, 
telling him that you believe that he is the Son of the living God and the only path to salvation, asking him to take full control of your life as Lord. Our last vocalist is the very gifted Ed Hollyfield, singing so wonderfully in a music video entitled, which is a very appropriate video to end our show with for today. With everything you have heard and seen, I hope that you have been confronted with the question, are you following God in all that you do and say, or is it time to return to God? Let me encourage you to listen intently to and watch this very moving video. Our great nation is full of strife, there's trouble on every hand. Satan's disciples are running wild, trying to drive God from our land. Lust and greed are common things, cause idols are everywhere. The saddest part of all is most people don't seem to care. Our country was founded on the principles of God, His commandments were seen everywhere. In public places, at every level, and everything started with a prayer. Satan got a few of his people Claiming reference to God shouldn't be The courts agreed with what they said They rejected our deity Let's return to God Put him first in everything Let's return to God Follow Jesus Christ our King Let's return to God And repent of all our sins Let's return to God and He'll return to us again. Well, the devil went to sports and the judges agreed, saying, Ban God's name in our schools. Professing themselves to be wise, they became a little more than fools. Violence and hate have taken his place, and guns are a common tool. We'll never be safe again without God and His golden rule. It's not safe to go to a movie anymore or leave your home at night. Violence has gotten completely out of hand, much to the devil's delight. It's because we're turning our backs on God, no longer love our fellow man. A nationwide revival is the only fix for the mess that's taken our land. Return to God, put Him first in everything. Let's return to God, follow Jesus Christ our King. Let's return to God and repent of all our sins. Let's return to God and He'll return to us again. Let's return to God and He'll return to us again. Teresa Wiggins has a loving heart for the orphans, the widows, and the poor, and invites you to visit her website and make a tax-deductible donation today for one of these precious children. These are only two of the many hungry and deprived children that could use your help. The little girl and boy are from Uganda, Africa. Make your tax-deductible donation today using the PayPal button. Thank you for your help. Thank you for listening to Tribulation Radio. I pray that God has richly blessed your listening experience. Please help us spread the truth by telling your friends and family about Tribulation Radio. May our God bless and protect you until we meet again. (music) 